Good morning, my friends and family. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be probably the last Subaru video you guys see in a very, very long time. I am sick of these damn things. Also, today's video is sponsored by my friends over at Athletic Greens. More on that later. Hello? Did you already leave? Yes. In my truck? Yes. Are you far away? No. I'm wondering if you wanna bring your tires to the shop so I can put them on your car. Oh yeah, let's do that. Okay, we're goodbye. Okay, bye. All right, my friends, car is back up on the lift and that can only mean one thing and one thing only. We still got a little bit more work to do to Gary and that includes a ton of cam gear stuff. So we have a couple different things going on today. Now with Bobby's STI, it did throw another or two more AVCS codes from driving it last night and this morning. So we have to pull every single cam gear off the car and i need to show you guys what i did wrong so you guys don't run into the same issue i wish i would have done more research because this all could have been avoided if i would have done research or yeah just done research so we have to do that while the car's cooling off i am going to go ahead and slap new tires on we got some brand new dunlops over here these are a 265 30 with a nice little tread pattern i'm excited to run those the reason we're putting new tires on isn't because they're worn out or isn't because of anything like that it is because this one right here started bulging out on us and it's very, very bad. Apparently, Federal stopped making tires because you cannot get one replacement tire. There's not all that many miles on them. We could just replace the one, but I cannot find just a single. So we bought all four new tires and we decided to change up the brand a little bit. And then we do have one very, very sick mod for the hatch that I wanna throw on, provided we have time. We should have time to get that done today as well. So first things first, let's get the car up in the air. I'm gonna let the engine cool down so we can actually work on it. And as it's cooling down, let's go ahead and slap on the new Dunlops. Today's video is sponsored by my good friends at Athletic Greens. We've been working with them for a few months now. This is their AG1 nutritional drink. This is my second month in drinking AG1 and it is one of the best tasting nutritional powders that I've ever had. AG1 has over 75 different vitamins and minerals derived from whole foods sourced from the best and highest quality ingredients. The powder is gluten-free, dairy-free, and has less than one gram of sugar per serving. I have noticed a good bump in my energy. You know when you drink coffee or like take a pre-workout supplement and you feel hyped for about two hours and then you just know the crash is coming. I have not noticed that same crash with the AG1 powder. If you're someone who struggles with digestion, AG1 contains natural occurring enzymes that bolster the digestive process, support your metabolism, and enhances nutrition absorption. You can head over to athleticgreens.com slash Devin Nimola to get started on your order. Athletic Greens is giving you guys a free one-year supply of vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase using my link down in the description box below. Thank you Athletic Greens for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back to the shop.
tires are on the car. Everything's good to go there. Took a little bit longer than I would expect or hope, but we're done. Now, let's talk about the BS. I feel like I keep blaming the car, but in reality, I should be blaming myself because I was too stubborn to listen to other people and now I'm paying the price for it. All four cam gears have to come back off the car. Well, I guess three of them. We already replaced one. Three of them are not properly assembled. We're still having AVCS issues, like I said earlier. I forget what codes it's throwing. It's throwing two AVCS codes right now, and I know exactly why. So let's go ahead, rip the timing cover back off, pull all four cam gears off. This really sucks because it takes forever when the motor's in the car, especially to get it retimed while it's in the car, but it's okay because now I'm learning from my mistakes, and I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes as well. If you have a Subaru, do not mess with the cam gears unless you want to do it the right way. There's two good options. Number one, buy brand new OEM ones. Number two, send them out to Outfront. Outfront is the same company that does the closed deck service and they will service your AVCS cam gears um, and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about having issues nonstop like I am right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull them back off. If we can get them fixed, awesome. If not, I'm just gonna replace all four and move on with life. So let me show you guys the problem. We are having all these issues because these things are not aligned properly. And I know that because if we take a camshaft, where's the spare cam? If we take this cam and we insert it onto the cam gear we replaced yesterday, you see how it just slides down on in there like it should, okay? Now let's try it on a cam gear that we disassembled and reassembled. You see how it stops, it doesn't go in all the way? It's because that rotor inside the cam gear is not aligned properly. That's causing every single one of our issues. I'm gonna go ahead and try to realign the cam gears here myself using a spare camshaft. If we can get them to slide on the cam fine, on and off fine like they should, that should fix all of our problems. If I could not, I'm gonna replace all of them. So let me see what I can do. So what I'm gonna do is loosen all six bolts, slide the cam onto the cam gear, tighten all the bolts. That should fix our problem. As of so far, everything seems perfect. I have 
all of Bobby's cam gears on the car. As you guys know from yesterday's video, we did put one of Bader's on the car, but being that I was able to realign all of our cam gears, we have all of our cam gears on the car. And so far, everything appears to be working properly. Now it is very, very late. It is dark outside. So let's teleport to tomorrow real quick and go drive the car. Just put another about 30 miles on the car with no codes popping up. Everything seems to be good so far. I'll update you guys later on if we end up having more issues. Welcome back to the night before. Before I head out for the night, there's one part I've been dying to get installed onto sus and it's probably the coolest part of the whole entire build so far. We've had two of these exact part similar parts before for other cars. One for the S2K and one for the M3. If you don't know what it is, let me show you. Now this, my friends, is a custom carbon fiber steering wheel for our beautiful STI hatch. This car has been through a lot. We've put hundreds, if not thousands of hours into the build and it's pretty much done. Of course there's, I mean, I guess a car build's never really done done, but I wanted to polish off the interior with a beautiful carbon wheel from AZ Auto Wheel. So we picked this guy up. I've had it laying around for a while. I'm gonna go wash my hands before I get it dirty because I think I already got it dirty. We do have white stitching. As you guys see, white stitching, white stripe, carbon up top flat bottom and this nice leather on the sides. This is my favorite combo. Same exact setup we have in the M and it's the best mod I've ever freaking done on that car. This should only take about 20, 30 minutes. So Bobby, I know you're waiting for me at home, but I gotta get this done. All right, let's go ahead and disconnect the battery. We gotta get our airbag out. And then we can get the new AZ Auto Wheel installed. I believe they're just two screws. So one on that side, one on that side, it's a Torx bit and the airbag will come out. And then there'll be a 17 mil nut for the steering wheel. Pull that nut off and the wheel will come off. Make sure you do not rotate this clock spring around a ton times. Keep it exactly where 
that came off. These two dowel pins right here line up in the back of the wheel. Just make sure you don't spin it. So I have a couple things to pull off this wheel and install on the new wheel, and then we can get this little girl installed. Check out the difference though. So sick. Everything fits like an OEM wheel. Well, honestly it should because they actually do make these out of OEM wheels. So I know all this stuff on the inside. That's all OEM Subaru. They just modify the outer edge. So everything fits perfect. Look at the fit and finish of this guy. Not a single flaw on this dang wheel. So perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. I'm a little bit skeptical on the white that I chose. I was gonna do red because red is of course OEM, but I wanted to do something different. Hopefully it looks good. I was skeptical until I got it installed. This is perfect. Not too much white, just a little bit of fine details, a little white stripe up there. It's freaking perfect. I cannot get over to the quality and the finish of these wheels. Goal for 2022, get one of these wheels in every car that I own. It's a lot of money. They are expensive. I'm gonna let you guys know right now, they're $1,000 plus, depending on what exactly you want. We could have even done like a LED RPM strip up here. I know some wheels you can get like cut off right here. That's not my style. This exact wheel is completely my style. Nice and clean, OEM plus. All right, my friends, that is gonna be a wrap on today's video. Quick reminder, we do have a Vossen Apparel drop coming up this weekend, Saturday. Stay tuned, follow the Vossen Instagram page. We're always doing giveaways, we're always doing really cool shit on the Vossen Instagram page, so I'll have it right here. You already know I'm gonna link this carbon fiber wheel down below. Go check them out. They might have something in stock to where you don't have to wait for a custom wheel. Peace out, my friends. I will see you guys in the next video.